So I don't know if I was mischaracterizing that. You had this professor called Allison Downey who was so threatened because you disagreed with her that she tried to get you to sign some form apologizing for your unorthodox, non-allowed thoughts, and then what happened? Right, yeah, she asked that I would sign a document complying with her asking me to apologize to the class as well as giving her a written apology. She asked that I would stand in front of the class in silence um, as I apologized and then they would give any comments on my outbursts. Did she say what specifically she was so offended by? Uh, she didn't like the fact that I disagreed with the subject being pushed in class being more than one gender, male privilege, uh, systemic sexism, and uh, mansplaining. What's, is mansplaining a, a, a measurable thing? I mean, is it a like species of social science studying mansplaining? What is mansplaining anyway? Do you know? Did you learn? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's any time a, a man speaks, really. Huh. And so no, it you, isn't measurable. What did you, right, I mean, it's a, it's a species of dumbness, really. So, but what did you, it's propaganda, what did you say about gender that made her so mad, specifically? Well, I first referenced uh, entities like The Economist who have debunked the myth of the 77 cents on the dollar wage gap. And I also stated that biologists don't agree that there are more than two genders. Um, they don't believe that there are 72 genders or more across the board. M most of them disagree. And she really didn't appreciate that. So by citing the longstanding view of biologists, the hard scientists, Alison Downey, who supposedly you say she's a professor, tried to get you to stand in front of the class and take abuse. Did you do that? No, I didn't. Uh, I was supposed to, but she really didn't give me a chance. I was given 10 days to comply, uh, but the day after she asked this of me, she decided to push it on through to the university's provost office to then hold a hearing, which would decide whether or not it could be allowed in class, period. Why do you go to this school? Or why does anybody go to this school or any other school? I mean, what are you getting out of this exactly? You guys, what kind of a world do we live in right now? A professor feels threatened from what one of her students has to say about something she's teaching? My God. Are professors being taught before they become professors that what you teach is the Bible, is the way of the word, and the, and the, the only way for, for um, the kids to think? And if anyone challenges you, you shut them down. You, you, you destroy them. I mean, it's almost like that's what our professors of these days are being taught on how to teach our children. In our time, if the teacher said something we disagreed with, we raised our hand and we voiced our concern and why it was our concern. And the teacher even, you know, helped draw it out of us so that we really thought deeper about what we were thinking and why we were challenging it. And, and most times if we, if we had a valid claim or case or, um, you know, case to, to, to tell her to say, you were applauded for challenging, uh, the teacher to chat. You were encouraged to debate other kids. You were not told to stand in front of a classroom in silence to, and apologize. I mean, that's like almost like a torture. You know, what the heck is going on in our school system? And then the teacher just brings it to the higher up so that it can be decided if he's allowed back in class. I mean, come on, it's, something's really wrong about this. And I hope what happened after that is parents got together and, and fought the school system. That's ridiculous.